Welcome back to the channel guys. Now it's obvious when riding an EUC, you're likely to experience all sorts of challenges with the obvious being weather. We all know what to expect in very good conditions when it's bright and sunny out or even when it's cold. However, many and if not all of us at some point will want to venture out in less acceptable conditions such as rain. Clearly, riding an EUC in the rain can be a challenge. Even the thought of riding in wet conditions is enough to turn many away from the attempt, and for good reason. In this video, I will cover everything you need to know about riding an EUC in the rain. Today, I will be using the M Super Pro 2500 watt motor EUC. I would say it's the same experience and expectations for all wheels, but that would be understating the obvious. Every wheel is different, with very different ride characteristics, not to mention every rider has their own methods. What's up guys? So we're going to do some rain riding. It's not pouring out, and of course I don't recommend anyone ride in pouring conditions, and if you have to, you have to. Uh, but try to stay out of pouring conditions for an extended period, even though it's uh, sealed. The MST is water resistant or waterproof, uh, from what I understand, on e wheels. So let's go see how this thing rides in the rain. I don't imagine it will be any different than any other wheel, but the tires are beautiful, they're big, they're very grippy. So, what I'm curious to know is how the pedal seal. I'm going to slip off. Maybe later on I can look on the EUC World app to see how the temperature of the wheel is compared to other days. So let's do this. Before I venture out, the very first thing I try to do is look at the forecast. Even though it's clearly raining outside the window, I would like to know a few things such as wind speed and wind gusts, temperature so I know what to wear, thunderstorm warnings, if any. Is the rain going to last all day or is just just a quick downpour, etc, etc. But the most important reason I do this is to know exactly what clothes and shoes to wear. There's nothing worse than riding in the rain with wet backside and soaked shoes and socks. While riding, I'm getting a feeling of everything. That is the air, the traffic, how hard the rain is hitting my visor or face uh, to determine if I should have the visor open or not. I actually prefer riding with the visor open in most cases simply because I feel less confined. But closing the visor is also a good idea simply because there were a few instances where tiny debris actually entered my eye and I had to pull over to get it out, which can be very annoying, not to mention very distracting. So getting here was no issue. Um, it was a beautiful ride. I thought, I didn't think the pedals would get any slipperier. Uh, compared to my 84 volt, but considering that it's more angle, I thought maybe the wet shoes, wet pedals might cause me to sleep a little more. But it didn't happen, you know. But obviously, in the rain, there's a few things you have to worry about um, manhole covers, any type of metal, any type of paint, you know, from the street, uh, the street signs, uh, and stuff like that. You gotta worry about these things because they do get very slippery. But other than that, it was joy, it was beautiful to come here, beautiful. Now, as grippy as the pedals can be on your specific EUC, you have to be extra mindful that water and tiny debris, which can get between your shoes and the pedals, can cause major issues if you're unaware. Also, what was possible in dry weather might not be such a good idea in wet conditions. An example of that is making hard turns or hard carving. Riding an EUC in the rain can be very similar to riding a motorcycle in the rain, in that if you lean too much to one side, you risk sliding out due to loss of traction. And since we just have one wheel, there's only one chance to get it wrong, and the consequences are immediate.
What's up guys? So you just saw that, that I slid over there. Man. So what happened? Well, basically, I think what happened, <laughs> I think what happened was I bent too much. And so this is how it works, right? The tires. I bent too much, right? Like that. And I just slid. I just slid. It's crazy. There's some scratches on my case. So, in case anybody wants to know how this thing is in, how this thing is uh, in a crash situation, it holds up pretty well. It holds up pretty well. But, uh, fortunately I got new gloves the other day. So, my hands are fine. See, hands are fine. Hands are fine. But man, it was just interesting, like, I went around the first time, and then I went around the second time, and the second time, I went, I bent a little too much. I went a little too much, and then it just slid, wow. And usually when I ride around here, it's fine. Like, I don't, I don't have any issues, because there's more traction. Remember, we have one wheel, right? <laughs> this is crazy, guys. This is the second crash in the MSP. But that's fine, I mean, I've crashed on the other wheels before, but... <laughs> that's funny, man. This is the first time I've actually recorded a crash. Congratulations, guys, you get to see it. But crashes are gonna happen. So, what do you do when you fall? We've all heard it before. Get back up and keep riding. Only now, I've unlocked an achievement. Well, not really, but I've added something to my list of experiences. It's interesting that this would happen now and not any other time in my history of riding EUCs. Could it be that the tire pressure in the rain should have been adjusted? Could I have slowed down more? Truth is, I've ridden the Tesla for much longer in worse weather conditions than either the MSX or the M Super, and with a much smaller tire. But, as Murphy's Law would have it, anything that could go wrong will go wrong. And this was my lesson in today's class. Praise Yah, the mighty creator of heaven and earth, the seas and all that in them is, because this could have been much worse. The important thing to note here is to have a checklist in place and to wear adequate protection. As one subscriber told me, for us, every day life is a test. When I told him, I only wear extra protection when I'm testing. This was indeed the best response for someone such as myself with so much hubris. Stay learning people, we are all students. So to recap what we've gone over in this short video, one, always check the weather, even though it's clearly raining outside. Two, wear proper shoes and clothing. Three, wear adequate protection. In many cases, good gloves, shoes, and a full face helmet is a good bare minimum to absolutely consider. Four, check your pedals for any sand, dirt, and other debris. Five, stay clear of on-road paintings from street signs. Six, stay clear of metal or manhole covers. 7. Do not perform any hard carving in wet to super wet conditions, except in the case where your tire is specifically designed for this. 8. Finally, add something in the comments that I clearly have forgotten. And number 9, I'll add this one in order to beat you guys to the punch. Don't be an idiot like me. One example is enough for all of us. Thanks for watching guys, and happy riding.